this one, it's a day one, basically another one of these like system guys who are like, oh, we're going to go sh short at 930. We're going to, uh, you know, basically the idea of this trade is basically, you know, because of your your system, you expect it just to keep fading all the way down all day and never get any volume. You know, all I would say is that if you're going to trade like this, keep in mind the range. We're opening up at the very bottom of the range. Um, you know, seems like a chase on the short side. Yeah, I mean, this 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 guy has submitted a couple where he's just kind of talking about his like system or whatever. There's a couple of those guys I've seen. You know, I mean, that's that's fine. I just think number one, if you're going to trade like this, shorting support. Yeah, it, it's the opposite of what we kind of teach here. But I will say this, um, if you are looking to go short, and this is what you want to do, go short at 930, you got to have a component of the range, right? You're shorting at the very bottom of the range, very, very bottom low a day. You know, you need to, uh, um, you need to basically, you know, incorporate something like that. If you, this is the way you want to trade, you got to incorporate something that's range bound, like, if I was going to short like this, I'm, I'm going to completely tell you right now, I would not short if this is opening up here. I would short at least if we get to 50% or more of the range. Now I'd look to go short in this area. You know, I'd want some type of range component because like, again, if you're just going short low a day, 930 every time, like that's not gonna work, right? Um, another thing is I'd definitely be tighter on the risk. So I would not be risking. He went short basically at three bucks. He covered at 350. I would never, uh, what kind of system is this, Christine? Basically what you do is you form an Excel sheet and uh, yeah, you, uh, you come up with some type of data and uh, this is what you do. You just go short at 930 and you hope it fades. Um, it's the short and pray system. I'm not trying to chirp anyone. Like you can trade your own way. I'm I, like, you know, I'm kind of like done with that. All I'm saying is just, if you want to trade like this again, um, you know, I would, I would definitely add some type of range component. I would have tighter risk. And um, also um, another thing is that for me anyway, I would want some type of resistance component. Like this is what I see here. Like if I was a short seller right now, um, this is the bear 2005 system. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> bear version one. It's like windows, like Vista. Right. Um, but anyway, I would look to go short into 350 area, this type of resistance line right in here. That's where I would personally look to go short. Obviously, you know, kind of hindsight, but there isn't really a line till 350 lines up with a whole number, lines up with a resistance. Um, you know, that's just what I would do. But again, we do have a ton of these like system guys. It's not MIC process. But, and I'm not gonna sit here and chirp them. I'm just saying, you know, you, you gotta have some type of range component. You can't just go short at the low day. I've never seen a bear chart go short at low of day. That's all I'm gonna say. Tommy? Yeah, I mean, we can clearly tell it's just chasing, right? I mean, there's like, technically there's no meat. <laughs> like, you know, just like little here and, uh, I couldn't see view app here, but you know, if I zoom, it would be somewhere around like this area. That's where you stop out, maybe like, you know, at view app. And this is like, yeah, you know, props to him for send, sending, you know, this chart. Uh, you know, it's like, like, I think we can learn a lot from this. Um, there's like really no point chasing guys. I mean, you can clearly tell, you know, there's no meat left. Uh, if you want to chase, okay, let's say if you want to chase, let's say you want like, you know, like confirmation or whatever you want to chase, you know, look at this support, slam it right down here yeah. and we stop here. You still have a lot of mid left, right? I mean, that's like, okay with, I mean, slamming and chasing, whatever you want to call it. And I, you know, I mean, it, it would be best if you could wait for the, top to set and and then you know scaling back to the bounce like this or this here i mean it's yeah. you know in hindsight right i mean easy set and now when when we see complete chart and you know it's oh yeah it's super easy you should short here and go for here short here and go for here right easy set and done but always look at the support okay key support and this is like the key if you want to you know chase here slam right down here or like wait for this line 
or like, you know, simply wait for view app. I would say view app is somewhere around this area. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, short near there and you may maybe stop over here. That means you can still have a lot of meat, you know, laugh on the bone. It's like, he, there's like literally no meat. And also he, he shot it right at the open. Okay. Chances are, you know, like at the open, we've been talking about this a lot. If you long buy a trader, right? You don't want to long into the pops, right? And for a short trader, you don't want it to short into the wash right at the open. This is like the the most kind of dangerous thing that you can do, like yeah. you know, right at the open, right? Uh, like you know, I'm a short bias trader, and you know, at the open, I want to start to pop for me to get in. All those people who are anticipating, you know, and also shorts are covering, I want to short into the pops at open. So. You know, when it's you know, like people are panicking, so we can wash and so I can cover, and that's all. Okay, I hope you guys can learn from this. Josh? Yeah. What's yeah. Up? <laughs> what's up, guys? Sorry, a little late. Hey, what's up, bro? Coffee. What's up, dude? I uh, I looked at the clock and I was like, oh man, it's already 10 <laughs> minutes in. Um, so guys, really quick, just a very quick, you, you know, when you've been doing this for a while, you get to the point where you can eyeball something immediately and know what's wrong or what's right with it. And the first thing I want you to ask yourself always, every time you take a trade is, let me see if I can annotate this is yeah, you can, yeah. guys, where are the outer lines, right? Like where are the resistance points? If you're hitting down here, that's real. Can you guys see this annotation? Can yeah, you guys see? Yeah. Okay. This is chasing. This is a problem. Even this is a problem. Honestly, like I don't even want you to hit it. guys outer lines. Where are the resistance points? So when we say line to line at MIC, you know, this is a major level. This is a major level as per pre-market. The point is, is because there's a quote unquote reason, a ceiling rather for these, for, for the stock to fail, for it to come down, for people to be stuck and want out. It's like jumping on a bed in an apartment. You're going to hit your head on the ceiling. Yeah. And these are those points.